Hi Geographers, welcome to your first lesson on mapping skills using my place and livability teaching website. Uh, we're just on the tab mapping skills, make sure you go ahead and have a look at the description of this video below to get the link for this particular tab here. Uh, the reason we're doing uh, some mapping skills for the next few lessons is that we want to make sure uh, that you're very familiar with some of the materials you'll be engaging in uh, in this unit as well. It's also really important during your unit of place and livability that you really start to understand the importance of maps in your study of geography and how maps can reveal data you might like to consider and discuss as well. So lesson one is bolts. So we're going to go through what bolts are. Bolts are the things that all maps need to have essentially. So writing down at the top of your books your to know and to be able to, your learning criteria for this lesson. So your to know is the features of a map and your to be able to is create a map using bolts. So what is a map? Maps are very important in the study of geography. Maps are a visual representation of an area that contain information on the features of that area. Maps can be created and studied. To be a proper map, it needs to have bolts. So what are bolts? Please write that, this down in your books, very important. So this is all the things proper maps need to have. So what is bolts? What do all maps need to have? They need to have a border, the limits of the map. They need to have the, an orientation, the direction, usually in the form of a compass showing north. A legend explains the symbols on the map. A title indicates what the map is. Scale, the size of the map, also indicates the size of features and their distance away from each other. And then the source, where the map came from, who made it. So those are all the things that proper maps need to have. So writing that down underneath your to know and to be able to. Now, writing down this, uh, write this down with me as well. Uh, we're going to go through what all these look like in my hometown of Grafton on a map. So let's have a look. What is A? So we've got A here pointing to the border. So write down A is the border. B, let's have a look. B is the legend. We've got the symbols that are on the map here in a key. So B is the legend. C, we've got here. We've got Grafton. It's the title. D is the orient. Sorry, the scale. We can see there's the scale there. So it tells us uh, the distance and the size of features on the map. We've got E is the orientation. We can see it's, com it's a compass here pointing north. And then F is the source from the Clarence Valley Council. So writing all those down, that's what it looks like in practice. Now, this will be your task for this lesson is to complete this map of Australia. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up in a Google Doc so I can show you guys what you need to do. This might take you a couple of lessons as well. So complete the following steps to finish the map of Australia. So I've given you a blank map of Australia. I've also given you a blank legend. So these are the things you need to put on your map to begin with. So you need the border of all the states. You need Queensland, New South Wales, Western Australia, Victoria, ACT, South Australia, uh, Tassie, and then Northern Territory. Use a red pencil, very important. So you wanna just go over and highlight the borders in red pencil. You want the oceans that surround Australia, the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. You might need to use Google Maps or Google where those are and use a dark blue pencil that. Lake Eyre, use a light blue pencil, so Google where Lake Eyre is, and then put it on the map, the lowest point in Australia. Uh, the capital cities, so we want Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, Canberra, Adelaide, Perth, Darwin and Hobart. Use a black pencil to label those, so you probably want to have a dot, Melbourne is here, and then write Melbourne. Do that for all the capital cities. And lastly, the Great Dividing Range and Mount Kosciuszko, so you can have to Google where those are. Uh, use a green pencil with triangles. Now, very important that you follow those instructions there because that's what you're going to put in your legend. Now, let's put the bolts on. So we want you to draw a border. So draw a border around the outside. Draw a compass orientation showing north. Create a legend using uh, your work on the page. So you can put in your legend there. Make sure uh, you put the relative symbols and stuff, for instance. Uh, the Great Dividing Range in Mount Kosciuszko, you've got in green, so you put that in your legend there. Make a title for your map, and then find and create the scale for your map. Now, this is the hardest part. So you want to start by finding the width of Australia, and then use your ruler to measure what one centimetre would be on the map. So find the width of Australia, use your ruler to measure one point from the other, and then you'll find out your scale. So what one centimetre would equal in real life. And source, put your name, you made this map. So that's your activity to practice your knowledge of bolts and to practice your skills of making a map. So that's a good activity there. 
After you finish that, you're done for the lesson. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to stay updated to any of the changes I make to any of my websites or any new videos I create. And I'll see you guys for our next skill on maps, area, and grid reference next lesson.